Can you even enjoy playing this game without using the meta? Does a new battle pass season means a new meta? Not necessarily. Today we're going to look at the best loadouts that I personally run in Season 9 as well as the attachments I currently use. Your loadouts might differ from mine and that's completely understandable because besides the undisputed meta weapons like the MX-9 and Holger, there are actually a lot of good guns you can use if you know how to play to its strengths. First one is the best SMG in the game currently, the MX-9. I use this for when I want to make the game easier for me and if I want to rush around and have fun. You already know all about the MX-9 and how powerful it is, but I actually want to give props to the players who mastered this gun and used it to its utmost potential while it is still at the top. It's already deadly close range, but people mastered playing this mid-range as well. The attachments I use include the built-in silence barrel, agile stock, infiltrator foregrip, large caliber ammo, and the Russell grip tape. Whenever I want to play aggressive, this QQ9 loadout is usually my go-to. I use this to make entry and get all the engagements I can get within the game. Sure, MX-9 is the better choice close range, but mid-range, this can outperform the MX-9. There's just something satisfying when it comes to beating opponents with this gun. For the build, I'm rocking the monolithic suppressor, RTC recon tack long, no stock, tack laser, and the 45 round extended mag. This loadout is for when I'm bored with both the MX-9 and the QQ-9. Peacekeeper is such a good weapon but is being gatekept by its crazy recoil. It's almost as if you need to pay a price in order to get rewarded with kills by using this gun. Quick tip, if you don't want to do the zigzag with your fingers, just strafe accordingly and pull down. The iron sights from the Season 9 Battle Pass make it better as well. The build I'm using features the Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Agile Stock, Extended Mag A, and Firm Grip Tape. If you've seen the Garena World Championship qualifiers, you might have seen Heaven dominating with the AS Val. This gun has been at the top as the best AR for a while now even though it was so bad when it was initially released. It's Fire rate, good damage, and bullet velocity makes it competitive even with MX-9 and Holgers around. It's pretty easy to use as well, so you're gonna have fun using this if you haven't already. This might not be the best build, but this is what Heaven used, so have a try with the MIP 200mm midrange barrel, skeleton stock, tack laser, piranha foregrip, and large extended mag B. Shotguns never die and I have to honor my Garena roots even if I'm playing in global now. KRM is the shotgun that fits the current meta if you have snappy aim, quick reaction time, and good movement. Using gyro is a bonus if you're already playing with it but nonetheless, when it comes to fire rate, reload time, and overall feel, KRM stays on top. The OG attachments include the Marauder Suppressor, RTC Light Extended Barrel, No Stock, Speed Up Kill, and MIP Laser 5MW. If you want to try something different, you can also try the HS0405. It's a good shotgun and you can get satisfying kills with it, although it reloads slower than the KRM. I stole this build from Signu, starting with Choke, RTC Extended Light Barrel, No Stock, Speed Up Kill, and MIP Laser 5MW. Still, the easiest gun to use in-game. And no, not another PP joke, but the Bison still has its place in today's meta. It has good damage and is somehow versatile, but really it shines more from medium to long range even. It's every beginner's dream if they somehow cannot control MX-9 or Holger. Quick tip, whenever you start shooting, just pull down or not at all. The attachments I use have the monolithic suppressor, marksman barrel, skeleton stock, tack laser, and the large caliber ammo. My new favorite weapon in the game as I like playing with assault rifles more, the M13 is my main gun whenever I want to play more versatile. Its fire rate is close to the AS Val and its bullet velocity got buffed. I'll link a video if you want to know more about that. I love this gun so much I adjusted my sensitivity just to have the best feel and control every time I use it. I hope this gun is left untouched for 2-3 to three more battle pass seasons so I can enjoy it a little bit more. I personally run the RTC silencer barrel an optic of your choice, but I've been having fun with the red dot sight too, no stock, tack laser, and large extended mag B. 
This gun that surprised me by its performance as an AR is the BK-57. This is one of the assault rifles that really feel like it, kinda like the LK-24 back when it was still my favorite gun to use. It's also really easy to use and the first few shots are really accurate so you gotta make those count. I prefer using this whenever I wanna lay back and chill and just cover areas by utilizing power positions. The attachments I use include the monolithic suppressor, classic red dot sight, combat stock, tack laser, and 50 round extended mag. Still the best LMG you can use that's better and will outgun most LMGs and assault rifles is the Holger. You can either sit on a power position and spray all day, or it can be versatile and play all positions if you want to. Even if it got nerfed, it is still one of the best guns in the game currently. I still use the same build with the monolithic suppressor, red dot sight, no stock, tack laser, and granulated grip tape. Lastly, for the rare times I try to snipe whenever I'm playing respawns, I use this loadout with the DLQ. This is the best sniper right now in terms of consistency and hitboxes, and while the Christmas season is coming around, you might want to start using the holiday skin if you have it. For the build, you can use the light suppressor, MIP light, combat stock, FMJ, and tack laser. If you want a smoother and faster scope in, you're free to use the Locus as your sniper as well. You can go ahead and use essentially the same build as the DLQ with light suppressor, lightweight short barrel, skeleton stock, tack, laser, and stippled grip tape. You might have noticed that I run the same perks on almost all the loadouts, but I'm working on a perk combination video so you can use some other perks than persistence and hardline. That's it for today's video, make sure you leave a like and send this to your friend who needs some loadouts. For today's question, I want to know, what needs to be changed in the current meta? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.